Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title, it's gonna be a relaxing Sunday night reset. We're gonna be cooking, cleaning, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I like to relax on Sunday. I had a long Sunday this night. You guys, if you watched my last video, then you guys already know, but if you are interested, just keep on watching. I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Manta Sleep. They were nice enough to send me over a lot of goodies and I'm super excited to tell you all about them. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is this travel pillow. It's very easy to blow up. You don't need any air pumps or anything. It's literally two breaths and it's fully blown up. So it's really easy to travel with on the go. I'm gonna be traveling a lot this year. I'm going on a cruise and I'm going to Cali for a week. So it's very versatile and I really like it. You can use it about four to like six different ways. So I cannot wait to be on a plane with this. The next item that I want to show you guys are these blue light blocking glasses. I've been using these for weeks now, girl. I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell you a lie. These are the best blue light blocking glasses that I've ever put on. My eyes never strain anymore from the light of a screen. This is their weighted sleep mask. It applies a soothing amount of pressure to relax the different points of your face to induce a state of deep, calm sleep. And it also relieves anxiety, headaches, and insomnia. The second one is the Mana Sleep Pro Mask. It's perfect for side sleepers and is 100 percent blackout just like the other one you don't have to worry about your eyes hurting because those c-shapes are removable from my lash girlies you will be protected it's absolutely amazing you know i work night shift overnight at the hospital so when i come back home you cannot see a speck of light seeping through these at all so it's perfect for people that's struggling with insomnia people that just can't fall asleep at night or if you're like me and work night shift it'll be perfect for you as well all the links will be down below in the description box so like I mentioned in the beginning of the vlog, this actual Sunday was a very long Sunday reset. If you watch my Living Along Weekly vlogs, then you guys saw what I just posted. So at this point, it was about 10 o'clock at night. Um, I had just took Prince out for one last walk so he can do his business. When I get back in with Prince, whatever time it is on, you know, Sunday, I'll come in take him off the leash, put my shoes up, and then I get my door lock. Talked about this in my Amazon favorites video. I put my door latch lock, whatever you wanna call it, on. And it just makes me feel safe, obviously, living alone. And then I also get this door stopper, and it also sounds off really, really, really loud. So since this was already 10 o'clock, I decided to go ahead and set out the food that I wanted to cook. Um, I did work this day, so I had woke up really late, got a late start to everything, so took out everything that I wanted to prepare tonight. Before I start cooking, I always gotta turn on some music. So I went to my living room, went to YouTube. I like to find some type of like R&B throwback music, something like that to set the vibes, baby girl, okay. And then this is actually from Shein. Um, they do have it on Amazon. I'll probably link one down below for you. It's just water and it's kind of just like a, not a, even a mister, kind of like a diffuser, but without the essential oils in it. And it also changes colors. Got a lot of candle. What is the mood without a candle, okay? And then, like I said, it was late. I didn't feel like really prepping too much. So instead of doing baked mac and cheese, y'all know that Vavita box mac and cheese always gonna be on deck. So I am preparing a NY strip steak, just using salt and pepper, scrape the sides with the rest of the seasoning. I love that W sauce. Yes, I'm saying W because I do not wanna try to pronounce it. I haven't made a baked potato in a long while, so I had this one huge potato, so I decided to go ahead and make me a baked potato. I do like to season it outside of my potato because sometimes I do like to eat the, you know, outside of it, so I like to do salt, pepper, and some oil, and I decided to go ahead and get that started first because it takes the absolute longest. Since I'm doing an NY strip steak, I decided to go ahead and kind of season up my butter to keep the steak very minimal. If your steak don't sound like that going in the pan, baby, take it out and do it again, okay? So I went ahead and added my own homemade garlic butter and went ahead and tossed that over each side of the steak. And I like to set it aside to let it rest. Food is done. Plating, I couldn't decide if I wanted that big bowl or the little bowl <laughs> to make the presentation look a lot better. So I decided to go ahead with the little one. Those are actually from Dollar Tree, a four pack for about a dollar. I personally don't like to buy the regular A1 steak sauce anymore. I like the thick and hearty because to me it just tastes better. And I always gotta watch the show while I'm eating. So I'm currently watching 911 and I am obsessed. I just started it two weeks ago. 
after I get done eating, we are going to move into my guest room and start my bubble bath. Like I said, I had a very hectic Sunday this Sunday, this past Sunday. So a bubble bath is very much needed. I have not took a bubble bath, self-care bubble bath in probably about like two or three months. It's just always quick little shower and baby go lay down. So this is very much needed. Obviously, I got to sew in, so we got to protect that. I'm going to go ahead and do my oral care first because y'all know I got an Invisalign in. So I did take my Invisalign out while I was eating, but I got to wear it about 22 hours a day. So after I was done eating and letting my bath water, water run, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes, honestly, to fill up that big bathtub. So I decided to go ahead and do my oral care and my skincare this is a lip scrub absolutely love this got it from marshall's for $6.99 um it does kind of stain your lips a little bit not gonna lie but it's not like a bad stain but you do come out looking like a clown a little bit until you rinse that off <laughs> not gonna lie i love the ordinary brand i feel like it's been working really really well for my skin i am just looking for a good moisturizer that's very very hydrated because i do have dry skin then I pop my Invisalign back in and we're going to go ahead and pour me up a glass of wine because what is a self-care day and what is a bubble bath without a glass of wine? Moscato Rubino is my absolute favorite, favorite wine, love it. got a light of candles set the mood obviously i'm recording so the lights are still kind of on this tray is from amazon went ahead and got me a few snacks to put up in there this is normally the way i take a bubble bath with the lights down but you know obviously recording so i wanted you guys to be able to see everything that i'm using is linked in my amazon storefront under bathroom finds so i sat in here watched the rest of this episode it was about 30 minutes and i just relaxed girl And immediately after the bubble bath, I do go and drink me some water because, girl, if you know, you know. <laughs> so I make sure to hydrate myself again because I will pass out. <laughs> Pajamas are from Victoria's Secret. Had them for years. Decided to do long sleeve because I had it really, really cold in my apartment. Now, these are my essentials. Um, I like the Dove deodorant, but I had ran out of deodorant. So I decided to just pick up my emergency deodorant. The EOS lotion is so soft smooth got me feeling like a million bucks girl <laughs> so i do love the eos brand that is definitely my favorite brand of lotion and i kind of just massage it into my legs my hands get myself you know it's self-care so just romanticize it relax and i like to basically get my own self a uh, manicure basically Next item is from the European Wax Center. It is an ingrown serum for your privates. Obviously, you can use it anywhere else, but I usually just use it for my Brazilian area. This is the consistency of it, and I usually just do a dime size. Burberry Her is my favorite perfume to put on while going to bed. I like to I like to wear perfume going to bed. That's just me personally, and Burberry Her is the number one fragrance that I do like to wear to bed, so I put it on before I go to bed. Next, obviously, you guys know... I had to take out my Invisalign to eat my snacks in the tub, so I had to take it out and I gotta put it back in. So I just rinse with some mouthwash and then pop those back in before I lay back down. Next, before we go to bed, since I wasn't really cleaning up while cooking, I decided to go ahead and make sure before I lay my head down that my kitchen is clean. Before I lay down, I did want to go ahead and put on my rail hitting patch. This will be the first time of me trying this out, and I actually kind of enjoyed it. Um, could it pack a little bit more heat? Yeah, but I mean, it does the job. It lasts for about eight hours. It looks basically just like a little pad. You just stick it onto your shorts, pants, whatever, and just keep it there. It says do not let it leave. Stay on there for longer than eight hours, though. So it provided me a little bit of relief. I'm running it. 